What's going on YouTube, Jim Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review and in today's video I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Kingdom Voyager class Cyclonus. Kicking off this review by looking at the packaging, the packaging is standard for Kingdom, all what we have come to know and love. You got Cyclonus there on the front, Kingdom, come around to the side, you got his jet mode there, Cyclonus, blah 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 blah, Decepticon symbol, stuff on the bottom on the side we've got that amazing Kingdom box art, and then on the back here we got a picture of Cyclonus in his robot mode, his jet mode that he transforms in 34 steps, and this little symbol, whatever that means, so yoink, that's it for the packaging. Accessory-wise, he does come with a single blaster, which has been done in a nice silver. It doesn't look that bad, just kind of this generic little blaster. Um, it was uh, molded in purple plastic, painted silver, so there you have that. He does come with his um, collector's card, and this time I got the orc. You can see uh, just standard collector's card, and you can see there's the arc right there, Autobot arc, but... There you have that, and then he does come with his instruction booklet, which standard kingdom instruction booklet, and then he does come with his safety warning sheet. So that's all that Cyclonus comes with. And here is Kingdom Cyclonus, and Cyclonus in his jet mode looks really, really good. When this guy was first announced in Kingdom, he was not of top priority for me. But a lot of people were getting this guy, and a lot of people were enjoying this figure. I, me personally, I thought it was a cool design, but I was too busy trying to collect the Beast Wars characters because I don't have a lot of them. And now that I'm caught up on that, I was finally able to get my hands on Cyclonus. And I've got to say, he's worth the hype. He's definitely worth the hype and the talk that people have been giving this figure. Flawless? No. But it is really, 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 really good. Obviously, the jet mode here is a Cybertronian jet, and all the panel lines and everything have been done very intricately, and the paint applications are really, really nice. You've even got four thrusters here at the back, which all are um, 5mm port compatible, so you can load this thing up with blast effects and have him look like he's flying off into outer space to uh, go in Starscream's bad coordination. But you have got orange translucent plastic there at the cockpit, the paint applications there at the front of the nose cone, and the way this transforms is really, really cool, but I'll touch on that later. Sorry, camera fell out of focus. Um, yeah, you do have some landing gear here on the bottom, and you can see the, the robot mode definitely does pull off some interesting stuff to get to the jet mode here, but the landing gear does fold up just like so, and then to pull it back out, you just have some little tabs here at the back that you pull out, and then you push this one forward, and you have that, so... There you go. One thing I have heard people complain about, uh, it doesn't bother me, is how the nose cone isn't completely um, streamlined. I'm fine with that. To me, it's just intakes, but I mean, it doesn't really bother me. So, I mean, jet mode here is really, really, really solid. Like, all the details and everything have done very nicely. It holds together really well. And overall, it just looks really, really good looking. You can store his gun on the top here. There is a 5mm port. You can plug it in just like that if you want to, or if you do so decide. There are two ports here on the bottom of the jet mode, and these just plug in just like that. So, I mean, you've got a few options, or if you want to, for whatever reason, plug it into the back like that. You can, you can, you know, plug it into one of the several ports there at the back. Um, Yeah, overall, the jet mode looks really, really good. I really do like the aesthetic of the jet mode, I think it's really futuristic and really fast looking. You can store the gun that he comes with in jet mode in a few different spots. Um, option A, you can take it and plug it into the top and that's how it's shown in the instructions, but I mean, it's an option. Or if you wanted to, you could plug it in underside of the wing, uh, like that. Um, but then it kind of leaves an asymmetrical look. It would be pretty cool if you had two of these. It'd kind of uh, be like a Starscream vibe, but um, there is that and I mean I guess if you really wanted to you could plug it in here at the back But you know as far as weapon storage uh, Weapon storage goes you're supposed to plug it in on top, but I mean overall jet mode really 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 solid and for size comparisons trans metal Dinobot leader class Astro train from Earthrise and Voyager Class Inferno from Kingdom. So there you have some size comparisons. So for the transformation of um, 
for Cyclonus here, we're going to start by coming around here to the underside. If you haven't folded the landing gear up already, go ahead and do so. Then we're going to come around to the thrusters here, unpeg these just like so, just like that. Then after we unpeg this, we come here to the arms and fold these back on a double hinge, just like so. Then we can take the legs here and unhinge these on a double hinge, like so. And then we can separate them, just like that. And then come around to these back intakes here, open them up, pull this panel up, and then rotate out the foot, just like so. We want to do that for both sides. Bop, 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 just like so. So, there we have legs for Cyclonus pretty much done. Now, real quick, while I still have time, we're going to raise up the camera because this is going to get interesting. Take the cockpit assembly here, fold it around like so, and then take this section here, untab it, and then take the chest assembly, untab it, just like so. Then for the nose cone, and this is where it's really interesting, for the nose cone, what you're going to want to do, open this bottom tab here, take this section, fold it in, collapse that, then take this panel here, open it up like that, take this and double hinge it in on itself, and then collapse this nose assembly, just or the nose cone assembly, just like that. And then you can rotate up the robot mode head and then collapse the chest. So all that shrinks into his chest. Then you can take his backpack or his back piece pretty much and fold that up just like so. And then take these shoulders, hinge them forward just like so. Make sure they double hinge forward. Take the arms, straighten them out just like that. Um, go ahead, untab the forearms or basically, yeah, just the arms from the wings and then take the wings and double hinge them just like so and lock them into the shoulders. Then take this little section here and fold that up just like so. Do that for both sides, untab the arm, fold back the wing just like so, fold that up, straighten out the arms just like so and we're pretty much done. Then all you gotta do is take the forearm, open it up and then the arm transforms very specifically. You have to rotate the hand out this way. You can't rotate it in this way because there's a little bit of plastic keeping you from doing that. So you have to rotate it in like that during the transformation to jet mode. So do that on both sides like so. Then once you do all that, get them straightened up. Get them looking all nice and cool looking. Lower the camera back down. Here we have Kingdom Cyclonus. That transformation, I'll be honest, is so slick and so ingenious. It's crazy. It's so simple, but accomplishes so much. In the robot mode, this looks fantastic. This really does. And in my opinion, looks better than a lot of third-party offerings. And it's a mainline figure. Anyway, with that out of the way, the robot mode for Cyclonus here looks really, really good. Perfect. Almost. Almost. There's some sec There's a little bit here in the legs that I'll talk about here in a second. Um, that could bother some people. It does not bother me at all. Um, but the only other imperfection, I guess, with the figure in robot mode is that according to the CGI, the CGI model from the 86 Transformers movie, this cockpit assembly is supposed to be flipped around to where the cockpit is facing towards his back but i mean how many people are going to be staring at their figure from the the back on their display shelf truth be told but i mean th none of that really bothers me this is a fantastic depiction of cyclonus as you can see just looks really really good let's go ahead and take a look at the details the detail in the robot mode looks really really good starting here at the legs for the legs you know you've got the purple there on the foot the paint here on the kneecaps as well with all the molded in detail on the shins and whatnot the panel lining very nice, that purple metallic paint that they've added on. They've added on some metallic silver there for the for the, the thighs. Yeah, metallic silver. They've added silver paint to the thighs there as well, which looks really, really nice. Unfortunately, they didn't paint the, uh, the hinge joints at the hip. Oh, well. Um, arms, a lot of panel line detailing as well. Looks really, really nice. You've actually got um, this translucent, uh, translucent orange... Uh, section right there at the abdomen, which is actually really, really cool, cool looking. And then some more detail there at the upper chest and whatnot. I got that Decepticon symbol 
right there proud in the middle of his chest for robot mode and then the head sculpt for cyclonus as well looks absolutely fantastic you can see all the molded in detail and whatnot his eyes which are actually light piped which actually looks really really cool if you turn the figure around you can see there's a little spot for light piping uh, right there so get this figure under a light and his eyes glow a really cool orangish reddish color really really wicked looking Overall, and I mean, the figure cleans up really nicely. I mean, this is a little bit, I wish you could have done something with this, maybe folded it up or something like that. But when you're looking at the figure from a front angle, I mean, that's really clean looking. Like, I had a friend of mine on YouTube, uh, Prime Brick, he posted a video review of this guy when it like first came out. And he told me, he was like, it's definitely worth hunting down. And you know what? I'm really happy I, I, I was able to find this guy. This is a really cool figure. One I wasn't really expecting, but after all the hype was built up towards it, I had high expectations for it, and you know what? I gotta say, it's really, really, really cool. And you know, the posability for the figure as well is really, really astonishing. So starting off here at the feet, the feet have a series of different hinges, which is really cool. You have forward and backwards here at the foot. You have ankle tilt as well, so you can get some poses out of that. It's not as much as some of the other Kingdom figures, but it's good enough. Knees, you can bend the knees at two different joints, so you can get a little over 90 degrees. And this is where some issues um, occur for some people. They have this giant hollow gap in the knee. But I mean, if you don't like that, literally, it's on a double hinge, and you can block that up just like that. Now, granted, when you come to hinge the leg back in, the, the joint kind of sinks into that cavity. So you do have to be careful for that, and that is one of the flaws of this figure. But I mean... A mere oversight compared to whatever um, to everything else this figure has to offer you do have a thigh swivel um, hinge forward at the leg hinge backwards moving the arms out the way you can kick outwards to the side you do have a 360 waist rotation as well moving the camera up so I can continue with the articulation arms full 360 rotation as well Outward movement, bicep swivel, full 360, I do believe, if nothing gets in the way. Okay, this arm plate does get in the way of the wings, so almost full 360 of the arms. It's close enough. Um, you do get a little over 90 degree elbow bend. You do have wrist swivel as well. Well, and then the head has a couple different joints in it. You have a ball joint at the top of the neck, and then there is a hinge in the neck itself for some extra. I'm trying to show you all a little bit of extra up and down there at the head. So you can definitely pull off some looking up poses, you can get them looking down, you can get them kind of looking at an angle, stuff, all sorts of, just all sorts of cool poses you can get, all different expressions you can get with the head, just due to the posability in the neck, in the head itself, so I mean, overall, extremely poseable, you can pull off some really expressive poses with this guy, it's, it's really, really cool. Now for robot mode size comparisons, Deluxe Class Kingdom Cheetor, Voyager Class Kingdom Tigatron, and Voyager Class Kingdom uh, Dinobot. And as we can see, Cyclonus is actually pretty tall for Voyager. So there you have size comparisons. And so there we have it. Kingdom Voyager Class Cyclonus. A figure that a lot of people have been recommending time and time again. And one I wasn't really sure worth all the hype. Mainly because I have no personal attachment to the character. But I can officially say now this figure is definitely worth hunting down. The articulation and everything is really well done. The uh, robot mode looks absolutely astonishing with very few and very minor flaws throughout the robot mode, at least in my opinion. You know, the gap here at the knees can be somewhat annoying depending on how you look at it. It doesn't bother me at all. And then um, the only other thing I could see people complaining about is that there's a little bit of a wing flap here at the back of his arm, which kind of hinders the uh, the articulation just a little bit. But I mean, that it's not even, it's just for the satisfaction of saying, oh, he has a 360 bicep swivel. He doesn't, unfortunately. But I mean, the posability you can pull off with this guy is out of the ballpark. Like, you, you don't even really need to worry about that. And then the transformation for this guy is really fun, and it's really ingenious how the nose cone and everything can unfold and then collapse into itself for the robot mode. And the jet mode that we end up with is absolutely fantastic as well. Looks great. And then just all the paint applications and everything is really nice as well. Overall, this figure is really, really solid. A really good figure. One I recommend hunting down, even if you're not a fan of the character, 
I, I have no personal attachment to the character, but this figure is really, really cool. Really, just something different in terms of engineering and stuff like that. Really, really hits the spot. So, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of comment what you think of Kingdom Cyclonus down in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions. Signing off.